Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Islen Fernandez. If you don't already know me, and today we're going to be doing vision boards. Yes. So I wanted to do this at the beginning of the year, but I did not make it. I just didn't do it. But I'm going to do it now, better late than never. So today I'm going to be doing my very own vision board with you guys and share my experience with you guys as well and share a few points as to why I think it's useful to have your own vision board. So let's get into it. What are vision boards and why are they so important? Why? A vision board is basically a visual way in which you put out your intentions, your goals and your dreams out to the universe. So every time you look at your vision board, it sends subliminal messages to your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind recognizes symbols and images. So every time you look at your vision board, it not just will motivate you on days where you have setbacks, but it also will remind you of your goals and vision. So this is why I'm going to be doing my very own vision board today and I definitely would say that you should do one as well. So let's get into making a vision board. Okay, so before making a vision board, I find it really useful to sit down and set the intent. So take your time to think about everything that you would want in your life and how you would want to feel within the next year or so. Once you're done with that, take a journal, take a piece of paper and write down everything that you would want. So in my vision board, I broke it down into five sections. One was family, then finances, career, travel and health. And then I went on and wrote down things and how I would want to feel in every section. You could write down everything and anything that comes to your mind with regards to each section and how it makes you feel. Don't forget a thing that will force you to work on your mindset to get to that place. So don't limit yourself. Okay guys, so this is where the fun begins. I made use of our good old friend Google to find images that represented me and the things that I wanted. As you can see here, I'm picking a camera. I try to be as specific as I could in terms of what type of camera I wanted and the brand and all those tiny details. The more specific you are with what you want, the easier it is for you to visualize and manifest into your life. Once you've gathered all your images, it's time to start cutting them out. Don't forget to add words or texts that represent how you would want to feel. It is so important to not neglect this step because it's not just about the things that you want to manifest but it's also how you would want to feel that matters the most. Okay, so I just finished cutting all the images and I am so ready to start sticking them onto the board but wait. Before you start sticking your images onto the board, it is so important to lay them down and see if you're happy with the way it looks and then you can go ahead and start sticking them onto the board. Okay, so I'm just praying because everyone is asleep and I need to get my outfit done. So, just a quick one. I am so happy with the way the vision board turned out. I did not expect it to look the way it looks. Oh my god, just look at it. It is so pretty. Look at that. I just had a few things to say before I conclude today's video. Firstly, make sure that you place your vision board in a place that you see every morning and at night and remind yourself of those dreams and goals that you've put down. Take a few minutes to visualize and feel those feelings that you would feel if you already had those things with you. And lastly, and the most important one, the vision board is not going to work by its own. You got to put in the work in order to make the vision board come to life. There's this quote that goes, a vision is merely a dream without action. So if you do not put in the action, then you, don't, you cannot expect the vision board to work on its own. The vision board is going to be there to remind you of your visions and goals and help you keep you motivated. That's all for today, guys. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips or suggestions. Okay, this little boy is annoying me. But, okay, look at him. That 
that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed that let me know in the comments below if you have any tips or suggestions for me or any feedback as well with regards to my video today and stay tuned for my next one peace and love